Okay, last thing I'm going to show you how to do is uh, some of the things for working in groups. Uh, as you can see, I have two different windows open. Um, I have two of my different uh, practice characters, uh, demonstration characters logged in. So I'm going to be working on the right hand window uh, for right now. Uh, first command you can use is called who. Uh, and that shows you uh, any characters uh, that are logged in. Uh, there are special characters um, that can uh, appear invisible um, that might not show up until you get to high enough level. So the command uh, to make a group uh, is called group. So I'm going to bring up the help forest for it. The character uh, here, uh, practice character, is going to be uh, the group leader. So I'm going to type group new. It gives you a message that I become the leader of the group. On the other character, if I look, I now see that that character is the group leader. On the character that I want to join into the group, I'm going to type group, join, and then the name of the character. So now it shows me uh, the other characters that are in my group. Uh, I am working on uh, a character here that is not the group leader. Uh, one of the easiest things to do first uh, is to type follow and then the name of the character that is the group leader. And then anytime that character leaves, uh, your character will follow the group leader. Uh, the other commands that I recommend are auto assist. I think we talked about that earlier um, so I actually need to turn it back on so I want to see auto assist enabled uh, just type it again if it uh, accidentally disables it uh, the other command I'm going to want to use is auto split I have that on. Um, anytime you get gold coins uh, from a monster uh, it'll automatically split it with all the people in your group so now if you watch I'm gonna head north with this character On my uh, other character, it shows that I follow it, and then that way uh, you can pretty much always stick together. The only time that you will not follow a character is if they flee. All right, so now with uh, this character here on the right, uh, I'm going to attack the dragon. And then if you look over here, the character that has auto assist on, that is in my group, uh, jumps into the attack, uh, whatever monster I'm currently fighting. As soon as combat's over, uh, it'll show you your share of experience points. All right, it looks like I forgot to turn on auto split on this character. Let's see if I another one. And then obviously this other character, uh, you know, you can. cast your healing spells and things like that. Um, so that's the basics for the group. Uh, give it a try. Um, I hope I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, it should be a fun experience if you can get some other people to play with you. All right, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions.
All right, and then uh, when you are finished playing uh, for the day, or if you're just done, you're never going to play again, um, you can quit. Uh, if you know for a fact that you're never going to play again, if you didn't enjoy it, um, push 5 uh, to delete the character. And it's going to ask you to type your password again. Um, otherwise, uh, you can just push 0 to exit. Um, and then if you if you don't play uh, after 90 days, I think uh, your character will auto delete. Um, so if you if you are interested in playing, if you play once a week, your character will should always be there. Um, and then to exit tin tin, right, I'm gonna do hashtag end, and then type enter, and that's gonna close out my tin tin program.